Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Okay, so I wanted to start today's episode uh, real quick with uh, the new updates. I'm not sure if it's the new upda updates or if there's lag. I have this entire area chunk loaded. So my entire fusion reactor, all of the fusion is, and everything creating the fuels for the fusion is chunk loaded. Uh, but lately the problem that I've been running into has been all of a sudden, I think it was after a patch. I'm not 100% sure now because I've been battling this issue for a while now. I have wicked lag when I'm in the new mechanism area, right? But also, my fusion reactor started shutting down because for some weird reason, after a week of everything running perfectly, it started eating deuteri uh, tritium. It started eating tritium like crazy. I don't know if maybe when I patched, the uh, burn rate for tritium was uh, changed to a little bit higher rate, but all of a sudden, I, I was running into issues with uh, with tritium, the green liquid, which used to be light blue. That one was the uh, was burning a lot faster. It was such a problem that I had to spend uh, an entire day, not really an entire day. Let's say like an entire session, which to me is usually like an hour to two hours, uh, fixing this problem. Like I this ran out. So the fusion reactor shut down, and then because the fusion reactor shut down, I was scurrying really fast, trying to make this all work, which you can see during the daytime, but when it rains, the solar neutron activators do not work. Uh, so I noticed that the three I had up and running, it didn't seem like they were cutting it, so I just held shift down with what I had in stock in the ME system and it spammed out four more. So I immediately put down four more because I was running. I was racing the clock trying to make this work. Uh, then after a couple of days of dealing with that issue, I noticed that it was running out of tritium again. So I ran up here and I noticed these were fine, but it seemed like the rotary condensators weren't able to uh, condense the uh, what the solar neutron activators were doing so I made another rotary condenserator and I also gave it full upgrades 8 and 8 and it started piping as well into the ender tank and that was not no problem after that also all of the machines have uh, speed upgrades definitely so then after that not a problem uh, when I moved this pipe, I had to extend the pipe because I didn't want to risk it connecting. So I extended the pipe, then broke it so that the line wouldn't be interrupted. But I removed the gas tanks that were holding the reserves of tritium. So when I interrupted this, the mechanism, or now what it's called now is Ma Mechanica, the, it ran out of fuel, out of tritium, so it shut down, and it was just snowballing out of control for me. Uh, but I finally got it to work. Uh, the third problem, uh, before I sound too overbearing, it shut down on me again after uh, another day or two. And I realized that it was getting stuck here with the lithium coming out of the... Uh, thermal evaporation, so I had to add another uh, rotary condensentrator here to deconcentrate the liquid lithium uh, so that these guys would get enough. So I'm slowly going backwards, and so far I have not run into an issue with the supply of liquid lithium from the uh, thermal evaporation plants. Hopefully, because I decided to connect two at the very beginning, I thought that was overkilled. Hopefully that will fix my problems. The good thing is everything deuterium never had a, I don't have a problem with deuterium. It's only been the tritium, the tri, tri tritium. Yeah, like it's, it's try something, but tritium. And 
it's probably because the deuterium keeps running after the sun goes down. This one is completely dependent on both the thermal evaporation plant, which burns during the day, and the solar neutron activators, which burn during the day. As you can see, it is not making tritium right now because it's nighttime and it's raining. So, uh, like I said, I don't know why, but ever since the update, whenever I'm in this area, it is really heavy lag. As you can see, it ticks. It's really heavy lag. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the dynamic tanks showing the fluid. I don't know if that causes tick lag. I don't know if it's because I'm using too many Mechanica uh, cables now. I don't know. I'm not sure. Could changing the name of the mod pack from Mechanism to Mechanica alter or cause any errors in the coding of the pipes or anything Mechanica? Uh, also, if anybody knows, like, in the comments, please let me know, like, what's the most important thing on a computer? I'm not a pro at building PCs. I recently updated my RAM to uh, 16 gigabytes, and I allocate a whole 9 gigabytes every time I launch the mod pack. But stuff like this, it just, it won't render. It won't render fast. It it takes forever. It's I have to fly into the chunk for it to render. So if anyone out there can help me out with like what's the most important thing when it comes to Minecraft, the video card, the CPU, the GPU, the RAM, just let me know. Any help would be greatly appreciated. Uh, other than that, uh, I replanted the forest but with iron, ironwood. Because I like ironwood, it reminds me of my hometown in Ge in Germany. the The trees were really dark, so it reminds me of that. It makes me really happy to fly around here. But when everything is up and running, so let me check one more thing. Uh, maybe it's because it's raining. So let me sleep. Which conveniently, when you sleep, when when you when it's raining and you sleep, it gets rid of the rain as well. See, so like. This is something that's been frustrating me because I lag so hard that I can't I can't activate create a flight. There we go. It won't register the double space bar for me to activate create a flight. So now it's not raining and I'm still having issues here with this part. And I mean it's still the same areas that aren't loading. So but that was a really quick rundown on the issue that I've been running into with uh, specifically. Um, give me one second. Specifically, uh, the the fusion reactors. I don't know why. I don't think there's an issue with the Mechanica fusion reactor because I think that was my issue. I of removing the uh, the ultimate tanks that hold enough gas. For this guy to burn through the night and I, I think that the issue is the nuclear craft fuel consumption was changed in some way but I'm not sure this it's an autonomous unit it I have it cooled and all the math and everything done correctly so I'm not sure I'm not sure what it is like I said anybody can help in the comments please please do also I caught another hippogriff so I put him here instead of overcrowding the uh, uh, Astral Sorcery, or like let's say the the magic floating platform. So I got one here. He's hanging out, looking awesome. Uh, so yeah, what I wanted to do today is uh, let's go back to the space station. So let me shift and space bar and select space station and right click. So space station, hopefully here. Yeah, no lag. And that's making me think that it's not my outside processes on my computer or anything like that. It's specifically that area. Something that is being done in that area is causing wicked lag. So like the first thing that I want to work on today, I have it planned out. Last time we made this quantum compressor and I was shocked to realize that it needed 10,000 pistons. Jeez, that that is just nuts to me. Uh, so. I was I was testing the system and this again it's doing this again when I arrived I think it uh, it was here right it's still there but this is the second time it's happened now my ME cables are 
are de-resing. And it does like it doesn't even show the item anymore. Like it's not just not showing up, it's not there. And it causes wicked issues here because let's see if it did it. Yeah, it did it again. It's de-resing these cables as well, as well as the P2P channels. And sometimes these ME systems shut down, even though all this stuff is still here. So let me see if just changing dimensions can make this come back. Maybe if I change back to the same, no. Let me go back home. And then uh, let me fly back because so far I've only found the the only way I can make that stuff come back is by like relogging. So let's go back to space station. Let's see if switching dimensions helps. I've just run been running into issues with with this mod pack recently, and I don't know if it's the mod pack or if it's my computer. See now it's back. So now like and now I can access it again. So yeah, before anything goes wonky again, I want to make the uh I definitely want to keep making pistons, which uh I was making the what's it called? The uh I had enough treated wood in the system for a thousand, but I didn't have compressed cobblestone for a thousand. So what we did last time troubleshooting real quick is I made a compacting drawer right and I put in the uh, the cobblestone and it started compacting into compressed and double compressed so I was running out of uh, like I was like man how can I make this work faster so I put in a pattern to uncompressed a double compressed uh, so one makes nine compressed I put that pattern into the system and it bricked everything because it reads the same drawer. It reads that we have so and so many compressed and so and so many double compressed. So then it's the same amount, but it's reading both of the IDs. So then it bricks the pistons because it thinks it has more than it actually does. So I quick fixed it at night. I changed, I pulled this back out and I made a drawer for compressed cobbles cobblestone specifically i threw the void upgrade and all of the emerald upgrades into this one and then what i did was uh, i ran over to this machine here because we were pumping the uh, cobble directly into the ender chest i grabbed one of my tier one crafters and i made one uh tier one all you need is the tier one because it can hold two recipes for compressed cobblestone specifically. So now it's feeding directly into this guy, compressed cobblestone, and it's making specifically compressed cobblestone and putting it into the ender chest. And now we have more than enough compressed cobblestone. But like we just checked, I wanted to order up, oop, that's the wrong one. We wanna use this guy. Uh, we wanna order up another 9,000 more or less. So let's do 1,000. See, I'm running out of treated wood now, like last time we talked about that. So I looked into, uh, specifically into creosote. Creosote. I would need this to make the uh, treated wood. But even with that, I wanted to see, can treated wood be made? Treated wood. I don't like the recipe of putting the bucket in. I don't like this. I don't like anything that requires automation on buckets. I don't like it because I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm so sorry, but no buckets. I can't. I can't do it. I know it requires a filling magma crucible and something that can fill buckets and then, oh god, that just drives me crazy. But I'm so happy Nuclear Craft has the fluid infuser, which I'm going to build that guy. So fluid infuser, let's go. Okay, so cancel because we can't make that one yet. So we're gonna make the fluid infuser. So I made a couple of bookmarks. So I'm a little bit more organized this time. Move items. Okay, so there's a couple of things in this that I want to make auto craft. Uh, so fluid infuser. So the advanced plating, I know we can 
auto craft that. The advanced plating, we need four. Okay, we got everything for that. Good. The uh, we have gold, we have buckets, we need the machine chassis, so we'll just do that real quick. And we need a servo mechanism, which we don't have the ferroboron oil, oil, or alloy, my bad, ferroboron. Let's see, do I have, yes, I transferred that one over, let's make 10. Uh, since... Man, really, since I have 12 processors, I really should just make a hundred or a thousand at a time so that I don't run into these issues in the, at a later date. So we're missing the servo mechanism. So now I should be able to make that. And now I can make the fluid infuser. Excellent. So let's A to get rid of the fluid infuser. So that's great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to feed it specifically the uh, creosote, which I'm going to make with the uh, redstone furnace, I believe it was. Yes, the redstone furnace, which last time we made the bricks, I used UU matter to make machine frames and we need copper gears. Okay, I could grab the gears from uh, the metal press that we're using in the immersive section of the overworld. But one thing I do really wanna make is the compactor with the augment gear working die. So I wanted to make this one here as well. So let's see, gear working die requires, yeah, it's part of the compactor and compactor requires the copper gears. So that's one thing I didn't look fast enough about, gear working casting. So I do need to go back to the overworld. Oh, and I made, oh, a questinger as well. That's always, uh, I'm always happy for that. So let's go back to uh, the overworld because I need those two bronze gears to make this gear working or the compactor, which uh, I wasn't expecting. I thought since it makes gears, it's not going to require gears. But so it feels like that means to make this machine, you had to have made the either the smell tree to cast them or uh, the uh, what's it called the immersive engineering so let me do this real quick let me grab all of the gears that we have in the system right now silver gears I got a lot of stone gears I don't think I'm gonna need stone gears titanium gears that's pretty cool vibrant bimetal I'll grab that and I don't think I need wooden gears so that's all the gears so let's take that with us to the space station because that's where I'm going to move everything to so that we have a giant moving space station and uh, a little bit more of an immersion in Minecraft. Like we're advanced to the space age. Like I don't want advanced rocketry to be over yet. I loved it so much, but uh, like really like that chapter is as good as done. So redstone furnace I should have this now yeah so we'll do that and then let me instead of just tossing it in the system really fast let me put it where it belongs so I have copper down here I'll make the next row gears this is a stone gear I'm not gonna need that this is a tin gear which this is this will go here you keep putting the stone gear in there I'm not gonna want it Constantan invar lead let's put the lead up Oh man, because everything uh, on the quest required that redstone furnace first. It's dingering everything, backlogging. Nice. So lead and you and the stone gear. I'm about to trash you, bruh. Mana infused. I know I have mana infused up here. It is the this one. Yeah. Three strikes you're out or four or five stone gears. Don't need you. Uh, titanium. Titanium where hmm titanium does not have an ore and i don't think i put titanium out yet so i'm gonna have to move this watch don't you dare replace stone and start doing that too because i will not trash you because you're expensive so nickel this one's nickel i'll put you here steel gear i have not made steel yet a, a place for steel flux i haven't infinity bimetal and vibrant gold gold goes there and then silver. And I thought I pulled more than two stacks of silver. I guess not. So silver, and then I'll put you here and I'll make this look super 
super pretty. I want it to extend. So at least the top can look nice. The bottom, I'm running into issues with numbering. Some mods have odd numbers, and then some mods have even numbers, and some odd mods only have like three items, and I'm trying to figure out how to Rubik's Cube or Tetris them together. Steel, Vibrant, Infinity, Fluxed, Constantan, Invar, Titanium. Now we have those in our system. So I made the Redstone Furnace, and we got all of the quest dingers for that guy. Uh, let's make the gear working die immediately. Do I really have none of it, or did you get stuck? Gear working die. So I need a redstone servo. I need two lead plates. I need an iron gear. That is a bummer. I really, I had no iron gears. Compactor will get rid of you. Uh, lead plates and a piston. Can I make one piston? Do I have enough for one? Yeah, yeah, lucky. Oh, and I had two, okay. And uh, lead plates. Lead plates, I'll make a thousand of you. Oh, I don't have the lead. So let's go lead ore, which I had already up conveniently. Let's go lead ore. And then let me show off, since last time I just threw it into the plus four, here, I'll throw it into the plus five. It will stack in here. And then it'll take one stack at a time with the sulfuric acid. It'll turn into lead slurry, which will then go in here with water into dirty lead slurry, which will then be washed into clean lead slurry, which will then be put in here with uh, no, just the clean lead slurry into lead crystals. The crystals then go in here with the hydrogen chloride, which then move down the line with oxygen, and then just power. Bam, 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 or times five, and I can fill this chest to bypass that. This guy can only take... Uh, oh, I'm out of sulfuric acid. Or no, I'm not out of it. It's just, it's on backlog. So that's why I don't want to use the ore times five, because when this is empty, that'll all get stuck, and it'll leave uh, it'll leave the slurry in the system. So uh, I I like to d throw it into the times four when I'm in a hurry. But there you go, that's up and running, and I realized that yeah we need uh, lead gears. Bummer. So I'll make some lead gears because we didn't have any here. And all of this can be bypassed as soon as I get that wireless infinity booster card. Because then I don't need to run two systems, I can just move everything into one. Steel, invar, no, not invar. Did I never put iron? Steel, steel, titanium, wood. Invar, I for real never did iron. Wow. That is nutty. Okay. Iron gear. That is nuts. I think that gear uh, or iron is the most important one. Pattern. Get rid of it. Just to make sure, I'm going to pick that machine. Pattern. Oh, man. <laughs> I pulled the... This is one of one that I experimented with before I could get sulfur automated. I just did five granite and hoped that the percentages for getting the byproduct were there. Okay, so now I can do this one. This is, this is cringy. Uh, conveyor belt, yeah. And iron gear, please. Let's make a good tent. That'll work uh, off in the distance. Thank you. And let's uh, one. 
that needs a, an invar gear, which we do have. Okay, so back to the space station. Boop. Uh, space, the final frontier. Uh, let me put this in here where iron is. Iron, nice. That is my kind of satisfactory content, is perfect rows. So, augment. Bruh. Iron gear. Lead plates. Dude, lead plates should have... Did I not do a thousand of you? Uh, but... I've been making lead, right? Or, no. I don't have enough for a thousand, that's my issue. So let's just do a hundred. Yeah, thank you. It's when I start rushing to do these 30 minute episodes and try to get as much content as possible. Like, I'm the type of player, like, the content that I do in, in 30 minutes, I can spend an entire night, you know, with three beers, taking it easy. We'll get rid of the gear, gear working die. That's the redstone furnace, that's the fluid inf infusion. So now we can make gears. Uh, and then I can do that later. Uh, we need that we did the redstone furnace. Did we? Oh, we didn't make the compactor. So I got rid of the compactor by accident. Compactor. Whoop. The compactor. The redstone furnace, the compactor with the augment of gear working die. Okay, and we need the pyrolytic. So we need another servo. And we need nether brick. We need bricks. Netherrack smelted. Okay, so let me grab nether brick. And should I do a pattern? Yeah, I'll do a pattern. I'll just do a pattern from here. It's a crafting nether brick. Is it on the first page? Yes. Nether brick. I'm going to alloy smelter. Nah. Extractor sounds good. That uh, I can use the ME system from the extractor. And compactor. Nice. I'm getting all these quest dingers. Uh, X tractor yeah I'll give you two and it sounds funky but uh, like nether Mac makes one this is crushing stuff that's this makes one and the extractor or wait it's backwards it's not making the nether bricks it's making it from that so I need the alloy smelter or the smelting factory okay that's a bummer that's not what I was, I guess, nah. Gear working die, nice. I didn't even know that was a quest. We'll do the nether brick so that I'll pay a little bit more attention. We'll use the smelter and then uh, we'll put you, sawmill, nice, uh, in the smelt, alloy smelter, induction smelter. It's not showing me what is this one called? It is the Elite Smelting Factory. And I'll put you right here next to your brother, the regular brick. Wow. Everything was gated behind that, huh? Let's see. This was extra utilities? No. It was actually additions? Nope. And RF tools? No. What? What is this mod called? Actually, additions, RF tools, thermal expansion. Whoa! Everything was gated behind this redstone furnace that I now decided to finally make. Wow. Resin funnel, I made that. Wow, I made all of these machines before I realized that they were quests. Nice. Pyrolytic conversion I'm about to make. Wow. Dinger, dinger, dinger. Dinger, dinger. What is it? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
Ding winner winner dinger dinner. <laughs> God, I make myself cringe. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's the wrong one. I wonder if I'm the only noob running around with two wireless grafting devices. So now I need the... Uh, I also need to make the processing pattern. No, the crafting pattern for the nether brick now. Pattern. And let's go nether. Brick. There. And there, and swoopity whoop in the molecular assembler. That is crazy because I added more and then it split everything into holes. So, whatevs. Craft. 10, please. And augment. Thank you. What? What? Redstone, for real? Cheesy, 2000. Bruh. There. Okay. So that's the redstone furnace with the augment of uh, pyrolytic conversion so that we can make the uh, treated wood. That's super important. So, augment. I also want to make these these guys the uh, augment auxiliary re reception coils. So let's make a pattern for that guy. That is crafting as well. And we'll click here and plus and this and that and put you in the molecular assembler. And let's see, can I order you now? Augment. Nice. So I need six. And nice. Wow, that was instant. Cool. And then uh, I'm going to augment these resonant conversion kits as well. Let's see. Got two. Get rid of the augment. Two for the machines that are already running. Resonant conversion kit. Let's go with that so that I don't need to do that goofy stuff in the future. Conversion kit. I need these guys, and I want to make it out of all four of the regular ones. So we'll make that. That is a pattern. And then I need a pattern for all of the ones that are in this craft. So we'll make the hardened. That'll be a craft. We'll make the reinforced. That'll be a craft. And then we'll make the Signalum. This will be a craft. And finally, we need, also need the resonant. This will be a craft. And then we'll put you in the molecular assembler. And I'm going to be more careful this time. I'm going to put you all in different rows. There. Awesome. Okay, so now let's see... I don't need any right now. Well, let's see if I can. Okay, the gears. And I need hardened copper glass. I can switch that one out. So I made a mistake with one of the patterns. Which pattern requires the hardened glass? Is it all of them? So let me go upgrade kit. Uh-huh. The upgrade kits. This does not. The Electrum requires it, and the Signalum does not. And okay, so the Electrum like kit. This guy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this one. Put you back in. The hardened copper glass. I'm going to use fused quartz. Bruh. Fused quartz. What is that? Block of quartz? Ender. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, nice. So yeah, the 
issue that I was running into in the future, in the past, was it was four and four, nether quartz and nether quartz. And if you pipe it with the ME system, they would both go in the first slot and it wouldn't work. So thank you so much for changing it to a block of quartz and nether quartz. Now it can actually work. Thank you, thank you. I thought you won't be able to do it until... I know people have been doing 64 and 64, and that fills both slots, but yeah, that's nice. That's a nice quality of life upgrade. But I, uh, I'll do fused quartz. I need that one as well. So before I change this one, I need fused quartz. Fused quartz, oh, I was already in it. So alloy smelter needs to be processing. Fused quartz in the, I'll, I'll do it in this guy. Even though it was changed, I'll still do it here. And alloy furnace, alloy smelter can make the fused quartz. So let me make some fused quartz. Nice. And then I have the quartz being processed through the induction smelter because of the secondary possible byproducts of rich lag, which we're going to need. All right, so I have a fused quartz. So let's edit the pro this pattern now. We can put U back in, and now we can remove the hardened glass, and we can do fused quartz. And then click this to update. And now when I put U back in, kit, Oh, that doesn't work. So let me scroll it. Oh, I felt my hand swing right past the mic. I almost knocked it off my table again. I'll put you there. And how about now? Kit. I want this guy resonant upgrade kit. No, not the resonant upgrade kit. The resonant conversion kit. One. And let's see. How are you? Gears. Gears, gears, gears. Awesome. So that is everything I wanted to complete this episode. Uh, what I'm going to do is between the two episodes, I'm going to put these machines in place. Or hmm, should I? Should I not? I'll put it into place. And then because uh, if I run into any issues, it won't waste time in the next episode. So I'll put them into place. And then next episode, I'll explain how I hooked it up and how it's working. So uh, for this episode, we made these items and uh, next episode, it'll be up and running. So thank you so much for watching and tune in tomorrow.